Hey guys, brown rice, sprouting, okay? Great way to reintroduce grains. Um, white rice does not have a germ in it, so it will not sprout, but you can soak your white rice. Um, we've got some white rice soaking right here, um, and you can see we've left it here for about 24 hours. That's good, not too close. We've left it there for about 24 hours, a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it, right over here, okay? And then we cover it, okay? So that's how you do white rice. Brown rice, a little bit different. Okay, again, our sprouting jar, cover it with cheesecloth or a screen, okay? Uh, and then you can uh, just put your ring right back on top. Filtered water, uh, and I like to rinse this, so I need to fill it up a little bit here with some filtered water. Rinse the rice. You could do this part either in your sprouting jar, or you could just do it in a, a strainer. Is that called a strainer? Yeah. Yeah, a strainer. Okay, get all the rice rinsed. I would do that like two or three times. And here's the trick, you guys. Um, get all the rice wet here. And one of two things that you can do. Okay, you're going to leave a little bit of water in there. Okay, and you can either just, I need a little bit more water. There you go. So you want it all to be wet here. You can set it on its side like that. Okay, or, okay, whoops. You can lean it. Can you see this over here, Ari? See how I'm doing this? I'm going to just kind of lean it up against something like that. Okay, I prefer to do it like this. Okay, spread it out a little bit as long as it's all wet. Okay, let it sit. Again, this is maybe a three-day process. We'll come back to it and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Great way to reintroduce grains uh, with brown rice, white rice, soaking and sprouting.